everyone, I'm Becky, also known as Slipstein Forever on Ravelry and Instagram. About nine months ago, I posted a video about my uh, Blue Bonnet Honeybee. Uh, since then, I've gotten a few comments with questions, and I have gotten I've gotten more views than I kind of expected to get. Um, since it's you know it's spinning, and I really enjoy it, but it's not a lifestyle choice I guess everyone makes. Um, I wanted to address some of the questions I had gotten and kind of make an updated video now that I've had the wheel over a year. I, I guess it was a year at the beginning of March. So first I want to talk about what it comes with. It does come with an onboard cape. I just have a list here for myself. Uh, a 6-8 ratio pair. Um, so the pulleys, you can have, a, there's a 6 to 1 and an 8 to 1 on, it's on one whorl. It's a whorl pair. Um, it did come with three bobbins. Uh, it has a delta orifice. Uh, you can get additional whorl pairs in uh, custom sizes up to 20 to 1. And he does that pretty quick. They're pretty reasonably priced. And the bobbins, you can get more of those. They also have a jumbo flyer and jumbo bobbin pair that you can choose to get. Um, I've been happy with my regular, but I don't spend a whole lot of mass amounts of bulky so it, it really depends on who you are uh, I want to mention that I'm in no way associated with the company I really just enjoy the product and I felt like I said in the last video that they are pretty un underrepresented on uh, on reviews so a couple of the pros that I've noticed it is definitely pretty lightweight I since I've gotten my honeybee I got an e-spinner that my dad built for me and a Asher traditional and it's it's less cumbersome than my traditional, and it's not as heavy. Uh, and it comes with a carrying strap and a handle, which makes it pretty easy to carry around if I need to move it around the house. It also folds for portability and to have less of a footprint in the house. Um, you could probably travel with it. I usually don't, but I don't travel with my spinning a lot. If I'm gonna do that, I usually use a spindle. But it, um, it does travel. I have taken it places. And I know he has a thimble, which is uh, a different version of a blue bonnet. And that is a little bit more portable. But this is just, this is portable. Uh, it's made of great materials. It is, when I was hunting for wheels, I was really opposed to getting one that had MDF. Because my feeling was I'm spending a lot of money to get you know, particle board basically. So it is 100% hardwood and it is made in America. It's made in Texas by, by an American guy working out of a workshop, you know, American dream. If that appeals to you, then this would appeal to you. Um, I am a big fan of the Delta Orifice that it comes with. When I was learning, I did a lot of rethreading because I kept snapping my singles and um, it was pretty easy to learn to thread it, you know, it goes through the, the the yarn guide and you just pulled it right through the delta orifice you didn't need a hook at all um the guide was nice i'm glad i'm mentioning it now it um it's a sliding hook instead of cup hooks uh i think older versions had cup hooks i prefer a sliding hook because you get to more evenly load your bobbin and you can fit more onto your bobbins that way um also there's very little maintenance the bobbins are in, have steel bearings. It runs virtually silently, to be honest with you, and it doesn't require any real maintenance. It does have leathers for, to the, connect the uh, pedals to the wheel, and I, every three months or so, I guess, I use a uh, leather conditioner on them so they don't get dried out and cracked. But those would be easy to replace if, if it got to be an issue. Mm. I really enjoy it. It did come plain. You can you can ask for an additional for an additional charge. We'll do a Danish oil finish. Uh, my husband ended up uh, staining it for me. It went us with a stain varnish in one, and I like that. But I did it to match the wood in my home because it is in my home, and I want it to match. Um, couple cons. I really didn't have many cons with it, especially now that I have. I have my traditional, which isn't a bad wheel. It's, I just, I noticed more now that I have multiple wheels. 
I, I forgot to mention in person, it is a double treadle. And I really enjoy that because when I, I ended up getting a double treadle kit for my Ashford because when I was doing a single treadle, I found that my knee was really hurting me. Um, I'm not an old person, so I don't know why my knee would hurt, but I guess the constant repetitive motion did hurt my knee. So I did enjoy that it was a, a double treadle. Uh, some people are reporting a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I've heard it a couple times, like with the leather, the leathers as they are. I didn't have this issue because it was my first wheel and I learned that way. And since I've switched to other wheels too, I haven't had that issue then either. But it's something to be aware of that some people are reporting that. So I'm sure that I'm just preaching to the choir because everyone's heard it before. But if, when in doubt, try it out first. So uh, also the Kate location. It does come with the onboard Kate, but it is behind the wheel. So you would, you know, pull and it. He's it's really cool. He has um a little cup hook towards the pedal, the frontman, the front footman, and you can pull your single up through there, making it a little easier to to get onto the bobbin. And that's good. I just I prefer pulling it from behind me. That's a personal preference. I have seen also other wheels that have that have the ones that have onboard cakes, they have them in similar locations that seem equally not the, the best place in But it's, you know, for what it is, it's it's great. Um I just happen to go with the jumbo jumbo Katie Agoga. Yeah. From the, uh Nancy's knitting knit knacks. I really enjoy that. Um, those were really my only cons. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them and I do try to answer them. But I hope you have a good day and happy spinning.